good morning students now we'll see the topic of numerical methods one that is module one in applied mathematics three <coughs> we'll see the overall topics now <coughs> excuse me in this we have these topics mainly you can divide into three main topics and in each main topic you have two subtopics again first one is numerical solution of algebraic and transcendental equations <clears throat> in this we are going to study about two methods one is regular falsi method or method of false position second one is newton raphson method the second main topic is interpolation with equal intervals in this interpolation with equal intervals we are going to study two methods again here Newton's forward interpolation formula. Second one is Newton's backward interpolation formula. <coughs> Next, third subtopic is interpolation with uh, unequal intervals. In this, again, we are going to study with the two formulae. Newton's divided difference interpolation formula. Second one is uh, Lagrange's interpolation formula. These are the overall syllabus in this module one. Then we will go to first topic. Introduction about this one. We can go through the introduction about this one. I'm not to explain here. <clears throat> Next, uh, first topic: numerical solution of algebraic and transcendental equations. Under the, the first method is the regular false method or method of false position. How we can solve in this one? We'll see. Let f of x equal to zero be the given equation by trial and error method. Identify two points A and B such that f of A less than zero and f of B greater than zero. We had to identify two values by trial and error method, <clears throat> such a way that at one value the function value should at one point the function value should be negative, and at another point the function value should be positive. Which means that the root of the given equation lies in between the A and B values. If you identify these two values in such a way that then the root of the given equation lies in between a and b <clears throat> now by regular false method an approximate root of the given equation is given by the formula x is equal to a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a this formula you are going to use <clears throat> now we will see the problems first one find a real root of the equation x cube minus 2x minus 5 equal to 0. Correct to three decimal places by using the regular policy method. Actually, this is algebraic equation only. You can solve normally also. Just from known to unknown, I am trying to oh, <coughs> correlate the method. We have to find out the root of this equation. Given equation is x cube minus 2x minus 5 equal to 0. Complete take the left hand side function as f of x f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5. After listing that function, you have to find out the two points by trial and error method. Generally, we will solve from 0 or 1. We will start from 0 or 1. f of 0 is equal to, if you substitute x value 0 here, you will get minus 5. Then f of 1 is equal to, similarly, we will get minus 6. f of 2 equal to minus 1. Still, it is negative only. f of 3 is equal to 60. <coughs> Excuse me. Now see, at 2 the function value is negative, at 3 the function value is positive. <coughs> and you know that the polynomial is a continuous function. When you draw that graph from 2 to 3, it will touch the x-axis in between 2 and 3. Means the f of x equal to 0 lies in between 2 and 3 only. Means f of 2 less than 0 and f of 3 greater than 0. So, a root of f of x lies between 2 and 3. So, we will take a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3. Why? Because means where it is negative, always take it as a. Where it is positive, always take it as b. <coughs> then by <coughs> regular false method, an approximate root of the given equation formula I write down x equal to a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. Now we have to substitute a, b and f of a, f of b values on this and we have to find out x value. After finding x value, check the sign of the f of x value. Check the nature of the f of x value. If it is positive, 
<coughs> take this x value as b and repeat the procedure again by taking a as same value. Suppose at this x value, the function value is giving negative, take this x as a and b will be same as this and repeat the procedure. <coughs> Until and unless you get an appropriate required appropriate value that I'm going to show in a tabular form. The process of finding the root is shown in the following table. Now we'll see in the following table. <coughs> f of x is equal to <coughs> x cubed minus 2x minus 5. And formula x is equal to a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. <coughs> now I took the table a column f of a column, b column, f of b column, and then x, and then f of x. <coughs> First, <coughs> a, a equal to 2, f of a value already calculated, b is equal to 3, f of b already calculated, 16. Now, use these four values in this above formula and calculate x. <coughs> we will note down it as x1. <coughs> First approximate value. 2.0588. Substitute this value in the function and calculate f of x and decide the sign also. <coughs> f of x1 is giving it as less than 0. So it is less than 0 means take it as a. If it is greater than 0 means take this value as b. And the remaining will be carry forward as it is. Here a is changed. f of a, b will be as it is. So f of b will be as it is. Now substitute these second stage values in the formula and calculate x and this <coughs> x2. Find out f of x2 less than 0. So if you proceed this the same procedure in a similar manner, you will get x3 and f of x3 is still negative. Take this as a again. f of a, b same, f of b same. Calculate x4 <coughs> and f of x4. Still it is negative. It will goes to A only. <coughs> and F of A, B, F of B, X5. And F of X5, still it is negative only. <coughs> now, see, still if you proceed in the similar manner, up to where you have to do is where that X value will repeat up to the required number of decimals. <coughs> it is asked in the question, it has corrected to four decimal places. That's why up to four decimal places, it should be come as same. If it is asked in the up to three decimal places in the question means, you can do up to three decimal places only. Up to three decimal places only means, see, here only you got it. <coughs> up to x7. Hence, an approximate root of the given equation is x is equal to 2.0945. <coughs> okay, next problem. Estimate an approximate root of the equation x e power x is equal to cos x corrected to four decimal places by the method of false position. <coughs> okay, now we'll see the second problem. <coughs> Estimate an approximate root of the equation x e power x is equal to cos x corrected to four decimal places by the method of false position. <coughs> In this you have to remember one more important point. Whenever the trigonometric functions are there in the given function, then while calculating the values <coughs> f of 0 or f of 1 or f of 2, we are substituting the radians. So don't forget to put your calculator in, in radian mode when we are doing this type of problem. <coughs> Means a function has trigonometric function and you are using calculator to make sure that what type of values you are going to enter either radian values or this, uh, degree values. <coughs> According to that one, change the mode of your calculator. Given function is x e power x is equal to cos x, transfer to one side, x e power x minus cos x equal to zero. <coughs> so f of x equal to zero, means f of x equal to zero, f of x is x e power x minus cos x. <coughs> now, <coughs> by trial and error method, guess the values where function is negative and positive. f of 0 minus 1, <coughs> f of 1, 2.1780. Means the root lies in between 0 and 1. 
But uh, <clears throat> if you observe the previous problem, it went up to eight uh, approximations, eight iterations. So to decrease the number of iterations, what we'll do is select the middle point where the root lies in between and decide the function value at that point and then take the appropriate one. <coughs> now, f of 0 0.5, why? Because means midpoint of 0 and 1 is f of 0 0.5 is also giving negative, means you can omit f of 0. So the recent negative and recent positive values are at 0 0.5 and 1. <coughs> so we'll take 0 0.5 as A and 1 as B. <coughs> and by regular policy method, formula will go down and then proceed the remaining procedure in the tabular form. Same. <coughs> Write the function under formula table A column, F of A column, B column, F of B column, X and F of X. <clears throat> if you want, you can decrease the number of columns also, A and F of A in one column only, B and F of B in one column, X and F of X in one column. <clears throat> one by one, you can write. <clears throat> A is 0 0.5, F of A value, B value, F of B value. By using these four values in the above formula, you will get X as X1 and F of X1 is negative. So it will come into A position. <clears throat> and same, repeat the procedure, you will get <coughs> approximate at the sixth stage. See, even if you take the midpoint also, you got the root at the sixth stage. If you proceed up from zero and one only, with zero and one only, it may lead to up to <coughs> tenth stage <coughs> or more than tenth stage. Hence, an approximate root of the given equation is x is equal to 0 0.5177. You will see the one more problem. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> predict a root, real root of the equation x log x base 10 is equal to 1.2 correct to four decimal places by regular policy method. <clears throat> Given function, if you transfer to one side, x into log x base 10 minus 1.2 equal to 0. <clears throat> Sometimes if <clears throat> base 10 is not mentioned, nothing, nothing is not meant, nothing is mentioned means Simply log x is there, you have to assume it as log x base e. <clears throat> if base 10 is mentioned, so that is corresponding base 10. Then, what is the difference between log base 10 and log base e or normal LOG means? In your calculator, base 10 means it will be represented by LOG button. Without base or base e means in your calculator, you have to take LM. Please remember this one also. <clears throat> and the remaining procedure is normal f of x equal to 0 means f of x equal to x into log x base 10 minus 1.2. Now by trial and error method, you have to guess two points in such a way that the function is negative and positive at those two points. Here the function log is there, so you can't take 0. <coughs> why? Because means log 0 is not defined. That's why you have to start from 1. f of 1 is equal to minus 1.2 and f of 2 equal to minus 0 0.5979. So, still negative only f of 3 <coughs> 0 0.2314 so root lies in between 2 and 3 now take the midpoint of 2 and 3 2.5 or 2.5 also negative only so required values of a and b as a is 2.5 and b is 3 <coughs> once you list a and b then you can proceed by regular policy method formula and table the table procedure is normal same a, B, F of A, F of B, X, F of X, A 2.5, B 3, and substitute these four values, you will get X1. Repeat like this. You will get <coughs> required approximate root at a fourth stage, X equal to 2.7406. Okay. So like this, you can uh, do more number of problems. Okay. You can practice the remaining problems. We will go to the next method in the next video.